Bianca Noel Piper. She was 13 years old when she was reported missing back in March 2005 in Foley, Missouri. Throughout tonight, we're going to be showing you the faces of missing children from the area where Sean and Ben lived and were found. Their story is, of course, giving other families around the country and probably around the world hope. Maybe you can help. If you have any information, call 1-800-THE-LOST-WITH-TIPS. We're hearing a lot these days, in the last couple of days, particularly tonight, about Stockholm Syndrome. We've all heard the term. Basically, the idea is that Sean was somehow brainwashed and may have become sympathetic to the man accused of kidnapping him more than four years ago. Some say that's why he didn't leave. My next guest disagrees. Joining me now is clinical psychologist Patricia Farrell. Thanks very much for being with us. Nice Why not Stockholm Syndrome? Because it really doesn't fit the profile of what went on. And, you know, we have research that says a group of 1,200 people who had been abducted were looked at, and 92% of them didn't have Stockholm Syndrome. So that's just a phrase we all know. Right. It's, you know, it's rare. So don't just latch on to it and not really look in, into what it means. You so know? what do you think might have happened? I think there a number of things happened. Number one, the boy was there for four years, okay? He was probably uh, brainwashed. He was, uh, began to feel that he was helpless that no matter what he did, he couldn't get away. You know, so everybody says, well, why didn't he run? The guy had two jobs. He went out on his bicycle. You don't do that if you feel like it's futile. I have to. I, I can't. I can't do it. You, you say per perhaps brainwash. What does that really mean? I mean, how does someone get brainwashed? Once you are dependent on someone for everything, and it it begins from day one, you give them what they need: food. You give them water. You don't give it. You withhold. You exercise your power. You also you're you're dealing with a child. You're not year, dealing. Sean was 11 years old. Right, when you're not taken. dealing with an adult. Children can easily be convinced that you are the only one that's going to be there. Nobody else is going to come for you. They're not looking for you. I took you in broad daylight. What are you crazy? Your kid, your parents don't want you, and they prey on that day and day in again. And so the child comes to believe, well, my parents aren't going to look for me. And a child can be manipulated. I mean, how long does it take? Is it? It's a quick. Well, I don't, th I don't think it would take more than a week or two. Really? Yeah, because I don't think kids are not fully formed. You know, they're easily manipulated. Why are they gotten picked up off the street? Help me find my puppy. Do whatever. You know, even though they practice, you're not supposed to and do yet, this. And yet, I mean, we, you know, there are reports that, that Sean uh, saw pictures of himself on posters and, and age-enhanced pictures. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He still felt, and he could have felt something else to remember. I've seen it in, in families of incest, where one child protects the others. So how do we know that this boy didn't feel, okay, I'll stay with him, he won't go after somebody else. But then, when he did go after somebody else, it did two things. Number one, it told him he was aging out. He didn't fit the age criteria that this guy wanted. Eleven. What do you, what do you mean aging out? So, so this uh, this perpetrator, if if he in fact uh, committed these crimes, right. had a particular age that Absolutely. he was interested in. They always have a, an age that's comfortable for them. So he picked up Sean when he's eleven. This boy that he picked up, who happens to be what he was thirteen. Mm. He looks a lot younger. You could have mistaken him for 11. And so we've seen this in other cases. Didn't it happen in the Stainer case? Right. That's what happened. Another boy was brought in, and he realized, I've got to save this other boy. So all along, he could have been wanting to save other people. We see it in incest victims. You're going to save your sibling by offering up yourself. And would Sean actually start to see himself as Devlin's son? Potentially. I mean, I there, apparently Devlin is calling him his son. I there there are reports. So. You don't Did believe Did he so. ever identify himself to anyone that we know of as the son? Well, there's only this report of this website, right. which we don't know if it was him who contacted right. under the name Sean Devlin. I have, I have major concerns. Anybody can contact a website. Anybody can say anything and say they are anyone. You don't know it was him. Mm. And if it was him, maybe he just wanted to reinforce the fact that they're not looking very hard for me. I'm not going to be found. You know, there were so many questions, but my big concern is that there are questions that should not be asked of this boy. This is a boy. So, so you're saying it, to re help him readjust, there are some things which should just be left unsaid? You have, to, you have to let him, in his own time, bring it up if he wants to. You have to wait. If you press, you, you may make this kid break. You don't know. You're dealing with a fragile boy. Everything looks you know, like roses and honey now. 
but we don't know what it's going to be like in six months to a year. Mm -hmm. This yeah, when kid, the cameras go and, the, and right, things quiet down, that's right. when the real battle begins. This kid could have suffered from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's not going to manifest mm -hmm. itself for another six months. Well, let's hope, uh, hope he gets the attention that he needs in the family as well. Absolutely. Uh, Patricia Farrell, appreciate your, your perspective. Thank you. Thank you very much. We can't know if Sean Hornbeck would ever have tried to escape from Michael Devlin. Fortunately for Sean, two local cops came to his rescue. Just ahead, how their hunch cracked the case. You'll hear from them directly. Plus, a missing child poster is only as good as the picture on it. And what if the child is now a teenager? The art and science of making a child age on paper. Next, on three, this 360 special, Taken, Children Lost and Found.